Welcome to the Flix and Photoshop tutorial. There are two principal workflows between Flix and Photoshop. The first workflow is the creating process, which is only concerned with sending images from Photoshop to Flix. We'll start there. When the Flix plugin is installed, you'll see this tool set in Photoshop. In case it gets closed or disappears, it's available in Plugins, Flix. This tool set is divided into categories so that related commands are grouped together. Under Create, there are two commands for creating new PSDs based on the aspect ratio of the sequence you currently have open in Flix. You can view what that is here. Should you be asked to use a different aspect ratio for whatever reason, you can uncheck the Load Aspect Ratio from Flix option and choose it manually. New template creates a single panel which is meant for starting a board from scratch. New thumbnails creates a set of nine panels which you would use to quickly sketch out and slot in for new ideas. The image category lists operations you'll find yourself going back to most frequently. Each of these commands is directly linked to whichever panel or panels are selected in Flix. When you have a new panel that you want to add to your Flix sequence, click Send Current Image. This adds the panel to Flix after the currently selected panel. Let's say the director wants this shot to hold a bit longer and to see the bird descending towards the statue. I have it open in Photoshop so I can make that change, then click Send Current Image and it adds a new panel showing the bird smaller in the frame and closer to the statue. Let's preview that. Looks better. You can create a new layer and use it to mark up the panel and then send that layer to Flix as an annotation. The next categories are related to layer comps, frames, and layers. For example, using layer comps, I created this short series of drawings with a common background. I click Send Each Layer Comp, and each composition of layers creates a panel in Flix. If I was working with frames in Photoshop's animation timeline, it's the exact same principle, except I would use the Send Each Frame command. Photoshop boards are always sent to Flix with only the visible layers included. Why does it work this way? Quite often you'll be working on a large Photoshop file containing dozens of layers for different poses. If you were to make 20 different boards out of this one file, you wouldn't want to send that whole file 20 times to Flix. Imagine, it's 600 megabytes. This would not only fill up your server storage really fast, it would slow down the communication between Flix and the server, so it would get frustrating very quickly. For this reason, what gets sent to Flix is a simplified image containing only what you need for that board. But what about the original file with all the layers? What happens to it, and what if I want it? You'll notice this checkbox, always include source file. The source file is the original PSD file containing all of the layer information. Keeping this box checked ensures that Flix always stores original PSD files for each panel in your library. When you send, say, a series of layer comps to Flix, the source file they all came from is sent to Flix's source file library and saved against all of the panels that were created from them. This leads us to the second principal workflow between Flix and Photoshop, the revision process. It's very common for artists to work on a sequence that has been previously created, often by other artists. So let's go through some example workflows that will be familiar. Imagine, it's been decided that this shot is a bit too tight. I double click on it, open it up in Photoshop, and you'll see that there's not much I can do to reframe that. Flix is doing the right thing because this is a simplified or optimized image originally sent from Photoshop. I know there's more to the image, but I'm not seeing it because I'm not viewing the source file here. I can access the source PSD associated with this panel here because when this panel was sent to Flix, this checkbox was ticked. Okay, now I have the whole PSD to work from. I can reframe that crop and send it back to Flix using the Replace Cropped Current Image button. Or if I wanted to replace the entire image, I can use Replace Current Image to replace that image in Flix. I can also set a preference in Flix so that when I double click on a panel, it opens the source file. This toggle makes sure that every time you double click on a panel, it opens up the original PSD instead of the optimized version of the panel. Here's another common example. Let's say notes have come back from the director that the scene needs to take place in the daytime instead. 
So I'll need to change this background, which is common to all four panels. No problem. Each of these panels in Flix shares the same source file. In other words, they're all derived from the same source PSD file, which contains all of these layers. So I can open the source file related to these panels from here. Then I simply make the change on one version of the background. Then update the layer comps to include the new version of this background. Click replace each layer comp and Flix updates the sequence and creates a new version of the source file saved against these panels. If I didn't have access to the source file for these panels, but I still wanted to revise them at the same time, I would go into preferences and set the panel open behavior so that they open either as separate PSDs or as a single PSD with panels represented as layer comps or timeline frames. When you do this, changes you make in Photoshop update automatically as soon as you save. For example, if I open a panel from Flix, then create a new layer and draw something at random on that panel, when I save, it's immediately updated in Flix. So just to reiterate, this won't happen with source files, only on panels that you open as separate PSDs, layer comps, or in the timeline. I can always go back to a previous version of a panel under revisions or access the associated source file if there is one. Thanks for watching and for more information, please visit learn.foundry.com forward slash flicks.